Hi friends at home. So by now, I hope that you've all gotten a bag that looks like this. And it's from the occupational therapy department. It has some Play-Doh, some pom-poms, pipe cleaners, lacing beads, some straws, just kind of stuff like that. So I'm gonna to put together some videos of activities that you can try at home. All right, so today we're gonna to open up our bag and we need Play-Doh, straw, and a pom-pom. All right, then if you have an old cereal box that you can cut open and, and use flat just so it's a nice flat piece of cardboard, uh, it doesn't have to be cardboard, it could just be a big piece of paper. We're gonna make a maze that the pom-pom is gonna have to follow using the air from the straw. So this is just a great activity. It helps build oral motor skills, also visual motor skills following the maze. And plus it's just really fun. So first we're gonna draw our maze. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what it's doing. Design the maze. Ooh, this part's fun. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. So you draw one line and then you want to make it two lines. So the maze is going to go in between the two lines. So the more turns you have, harder it's going to be. So this one might be a little bit tricky. So here's our start. Start and our finish line. Next, you're going to take your Play-Doh and then parents and, and grown-ups at home, I want you to encourage always to have your child open the container themselves. Anytime there's bags or containers, snack containers, I really like you to encourage your child to open it themselves. Every time they do, they're just getting stronger fine motor skills, increasing their independence. Okay, now we have our Play-Doh. We're gonna roll it out, pretty skinny. And we're gonna match up our Play-Doh on our line. So we're building the wall to our maze. So even just doing this, even just pinching the Play-Doh, manipulating it with our fingers, we're strengthening our hands and lining it up on these lines. It's also good for our visual motor skills, which is all going to be Great to help with our writing and just being a good student. I'm going to kind of pinch it and press it in so it sticks on. Roll it out. Pretty skinny. I don't want it to be too thick because I want to make sure I have enough Play Doh to fill up my whole maze. You can pretend that the pom-pom is a car, and the car is driving the racetrack. 
grown-ups or siblings at home can make another maze and do it along with your child to make it kind of a contest or a game if your child is into you know, having a race. Okay, now we're going to take your pom-pom and we're going to start at the start line and get our straw. We're going to blow from the, the bendy side. And here we go. So this is going to gauge how much they're going to have to blow. If you look at that little line, they're going to know, oh, I don't need to do a very big blow here, just a little one. Your turn. blew it a little too hard there, so I'm going to put it back in. Finish. Good. A couple spots I noticed were a little too narrow, so I'm going to widen it. Make it a little bit wide so it doesn't get stuck. Okay. So there is our Play-Doh pom-pom maze. So we have cardboard, Play-Doh, pom-pom, and straw. I'm just going to show you another um, example of using some similar skills using the materials. So you can take out your index card, pencil, and then just on a piece of paper, this is great, we're using two hands, we have our helping hand and our working hand. Anytime you do tracing, you're using two hands together. It's just a really good skill. And I'm going to just trace this straight line. And then I'm going to trace this straight line to make a little road. And then the same thing, you can do it, I'll try it without the Play-Doh this time. Just try to blow it, keeping it nice and straight in between the lines. So you can tell without the Play-Doh it's a lot harder, you have to really go slow and control it. That's pretty skinny, so if I made it wider, it would be a little bit easier. Or you could add the Play-Doh to it. So this is just adding the, the skill of tracing along a straight line. Okay. So that's a fun activity you can do this week using your materials. If you do it, I'd like you to fill out an exit ticket so you can let me know how it went, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if it was too hard, if it was too easy, and that just gives me some good information for planning for next week. All right, have fun. Bye.